All right, in real time, it's November 22nd. That's 14 years since I've thrown up. Uh, November 22nd, 2008 was the last time I threw up. And to celebrate this, the famous Bill Tate got me a bottle of champagne. Congratulations, buddy. It was it, it's an incredible accomplishment. I just want to make sure that uh, it's, it's appreciated. Here we go. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. The famous uh, Wycliffe Brute California edition. I'll uh, try it later. But the purpose of this video is explaining my original title to the channel, Rice is a Spoon Food. I said at a thousand subs, I would do it. It looks like that's gonna hit sometime in December, and I actually have a very regimented schedule for uh, publishing videos in December. I don't wanna mess with that. So here, final day in November, I will give you the explanation, but inside the parking garage isn't that great of a uh, spot, so I'm gonna go find a better spot. This is better, sun setting with the high roller wheel behind me. Anyway, most of my life I was given a fork to eat rice even at home, of course, in restaurants, and it was just ingrained in my mind that forks went with rice. Well, it wasn't until about four or five years ago when I started thinking a lot more originally. I was uh, finally, like, unchaining myself from the idea that you have to go to school, you have to hate life, you have to work 40 hours a week at least, you have to have, you know, a 401k, you have to have decent yield, low volatility positions in the stock market, all that. You're told all of that, and it was decades of stuff like that, but I was finally breaking free from that. So it was during this time that I was thinking originally even about rice. And spoons just make so much more sense. They're rounded, the rice can't fall through like you can with a fork. Forks are for piercing, spoons are for scooping. Spoons make so much more sense. There was even a time in the Horseshoe Council Bluffs, a guy ordered fried rice, and when he picked it up, we didn't know it was a spoon because it was in the rice. You could only see the handle. He gets back to the table and he's instantly in a hand. So he starts eating while he's in the hand and he realizes it's a spoon, not a fork. And he had this like look of disgust, but he was in the hand so he didn't say anything. He plays the hand. Eventually when the hand ends, I say to him, you know, you looked kind of mad that they gave you a spoon, not a fork. I've been eating my rice with a spoon. It's so much easier. The scooping motion is so much easier with a spoon than with a fork. And he goes, yeah, you know, I was mad when I first saw it, but now I've been eating it while I've been playing this hand. This is so much better. So I convinced that guy and actually someone else at the table said it made a ton of sense once I explained it. So it was around this time, like four or five years ago, I was eating uh, rice with a spoon instead of with a fork. As simple of an idea as it is, it took original thinking because for some reason the opposite is uh, like told to everyone that forks and rice go together even though they don't so that's how i started doing it and when i started doing it i made it the name for the channel even though it had nothing to do with poker because i wanted to get the message out there for one yes that spoons and rice make so much more sense despite what some people in uh bally's will uh argue with me about for hours on end in addition to just eating rice though it's symbolic of the idea of thinking originally there are some difficult ideas that take a lot of original thinking it's weird that this was such a simple idea and in restaurants all across the country they'll give you forks it makes no sense it's so much more difficult and even though it's so simple you need to think originally to come up with it yourself you should be thinking originally people are going to tell you a lot of things a lot of things about careers and jobs and needing to get married and needing to have kids like you can't possibly enjoy your life without working 40 hours a week in a shirt and tie while you're married with children in elementary school. If that's for you, that's fine. It's not for everybody. And rice as a spoon food was symbolic to the idea of thinking originally about everything in your life. There was a scene in the movie Wanted with uh, Common, Angelina Jolie, uh, Morgan Freeman. They were trying to teach the main character how to curve a bullet in the air when he was using a gun. And he said, how am I supposed to do this? There was something between him and the target. He said, how am I supposed to do this? And Morgan Freeman said, don't ask how, ask what? Imagine no one ever told you that bullets only fly straight. What would you do? And that was awesome. Forget what people love telling you. Oh, this is the way it has to work. This is the way it's worked forever. This is the way it's always gonna work. Pretend no one ever told you how it works. What would you do if you were the first one to take something on? So I really like that uh, type of thinking and Rice as a Spoon Food was a great title. Still my Twitter name, half of it. Uh, it's just a way of thinking that I really enjoy, original thinking. Yeah, I got, I got enough to stay in.